Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I have tested out so many products but this one is going to specifically be all about the brand new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This guys is a brand new product reformulated, redone from their other foundation here and I love both of them but this one you guys is pretty freaking good. I can't wait for you to see it up close, apply to my skin and all of that, and then to hear my final thoughts on this product. So if you are into these types of videos from me, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I want to first start out with my Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. This is my favorite primer on the earth right now. This came out a few months ago and I've been testing it since it came out. They did send this to me in PR and honestly it's the best primer I've ever used. It is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. It is so much cheaper and it works just as good if not better. My friend Noelle actually did a comparison on her channel and the e.l.f. one actually I think is a little bit better and obviously cheaper so it's better. better 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 how many times am I gonna say better but anyways um yeah so I'm just gonna apply this before the foundation okay so yesterday I actually reviewed the brand new Dior foundation and concealer and in that video I actually did a half and half comparison so I did a brush on one side of my face and a sponge on the other so we are going to do that as well for this video here is what the packaging looks like for this foundation. I actually have tried this Makeup Forever Ultra High Def Foundation. This is actually really, really good. So I'm very excited to try this out. I have mine in the shade 1 in 10, which I guess in the other shade, I, I feel like maybe it's this one that it's, this is the old one, this is the new one. Um, it compares to like the Y235 and I have the Y225. So hopefully um, I picked an okay shade and it's not too, d oh no, nope, this is pretty light. Hopefully this is good for me. I think it will be because this one is way too dark. But um, yeah, <laughs> I actually really like the packaging on this. I like this like cream nude color top. But um, yeah, here's the packaging. Super, super cute. Um, let me go ahead and apply this to my skin and read you guys some things about this new improved foundation. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation New and improved formula. This version of the iconic ultra high def foundation is powered by technology that enhances performance and undetectability for skin that looks like skin under any light. It's supposed to instantly blur. So it says liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for 24 hours, powered by a micro skin system that syncs with the complexion for true to skin finish. It has a natural finish and it reads comfortable and easy to apply. This medium to full coverage natural foundation flexes with skin for no caking or settling into lines. It also says it's waterproof and sweat proof. So HD skin is vegan, non-comedogenic, waterproof, sweat proof, and comes in more sustainable packaging. The high def skin bottle is recyclable and made from 40% recycled glass. It also has a FSC carton and bio sourced cap. So why did they create this foundation? It says, we transformed the iconic ultra high def foundation formula to be even better than before with the new revolutionary HD skin. This foundation is available in new and existing shades to improve upon the current range with technology that ensures it stays true to its tone for undetectable coverage that lasts 24 hours. So for a sheer coverage, it says apply with your fingertips starting at the center of your face and blending outward. 
For a medium coverage, apply one pump of HD skin to the back of the hand or directly onto a brush. Start applying in the middle of the face and blend and stretch the foundation outward until desired coverage is achieved. And to get extra coverage, apply one pump to the back of the hand and apply with a damp sponge. Lightly tap and stretch foundation onto the face, adding coverage where necessary. So basically, the reviews on this are pretty good. A lot of people are saying that it looks better on your skin the longer that it stays on so that's actually really exciting that it the longer it wears the better it looks so um yeah really excited about this you guys okay so i think that 2022 is the year of foundations because so far i'm loving the foundations that i'm reviewing and this one is another one that is just so good in its own way. I really, really like the way it looks on my skin. It definitely has a natural finish and it doesn't have too, too much of a tacky feel. So it is going to be perfect for setting it with powder, which I will do once I am finished with my concealer. So I will be back after I play around with the LYS concealer for a video and then I'm going to powder my face and then all of that and I will further update you then. But but so far, I'm liking it. It looks really good. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so now that all of this is done, I want to give you my final thoughts on the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I am blown away. This is so pretty. It has such a beautiful, natural finish, and it doesn't look cakey whatsoever, and it has not settled into my lines as of yet. Of course, I will be giving you a much more in-depth full on review for my monthly favorites and fails for March. So this is going to be in my everyday makeup drawer and I'm going to be testing it all month long. So be looking out for a month long review at the beginning of April. But so far so good. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised and happy with this. Um, have you seen any other reviews on this? I haven't seen any yet and I can't wait to see what other people are saying about it. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and watching let me know your thoughts and opinions down below so far based off of my first impression I do recommend it but that could always change so my full recommendation I'll let you know at the end of the month but anyways thank you guys so much for being here and watching and I will see you in my next video bye